Niku Niku is a quirky 2D platformer with a simple but appealing art style, bug-free gameplay, and a really good sense of humor. In this game, you play as Piku, a red boy with procedurally animated legs. With these legs, he can walk, he can run, no, he can't run, he can roll, he can kick, he can jump. Most of this game is basically just exploring the world that you've been placed in. And while you're doing that, you can find these little side missions or like the main story mission that you can accomplish. And when you finish those missions, you get the trophies, these 3D model like trophies that connect to whatever you did. Not the best reward for doing something, but not the worst reward for doing something either. The story in this game simply is very simple. All it basically is, is that you wake up in this cave and you gotta stop the bad guy. But the humor on the way there is what really makes the game stand out. Like this uh, fast, kick, fast kick ball champion who basically has no one as challenger because nobody wants to play it. And you beat it and then you just win. Or the fact that there's the math confused lady meme in this game. So, you know, I think the humor is fun. E. Most of the times it's amazing, but I don't, I guess. The art style is definitely going for that Kirby sort of style that simple is equals appealing. And I think it pulled it off pretty well. It's first, it, first of all, it's really fun to draw, which is that appealing part of it. And as you can tell, they're simple, they're just basic shapes, but you can tell what everything is, you can tell everything's defined in the background, and uh, it really, really fits the style of the game and stuff, what it's going for. And the uh, music, uh, the music is very cutesy, and it also works very well with the style of game it's trying to be, which is good. You need that. The music is good. Really good fit for the game. In all honesty, the story mode is pretty short, about like two hours long, but the multiplayer adds on to that because it's basically just the platforming puzzle sections of the main game, but there are two Pikus, Piku and Niku, like the game says. So you know, silliness ensues when there's procedurally animated stuff and things fall, you know, whatever, it's fine. And then, so I recommend that you buy this game, I recommend that you play this game, it's it's good, it's, the music is great. It's fairly bug free because I haven't encountered any and it's definitely worth $13 and yes I did use the refund money from art school to buy this game and it's really cool I like it